Today is January 4th and I am getting my long-awaited breast reduction tomorrow. I was not nervous at all, but the anxiety is really starting to like kick in. I am going to be making a video about my breast reduction journey, explaining everything. This all happened really fast. I had my consultation December 12th and I found out that insurance accepted everything on December 18th. I called the office on January 2nd and they scheduled me for January 5th, which is insane and like unheard of. So yeah, it all happened really fast, but I'm really grateful and really excited. I went into the plastic surgery office yesterday, signed a bunch of papers, um, just kind of went over some pre-op stuff. And then I went to the hospital this morning and I got blood work done, signed even more papers. I got a bunch of stuff. Let me go get it so I can show you. Okay, so on Wednesday, I was given these two items by the plastic surgery office, but it's a balm. It's just an ointment for my skin after the surgery. And then also antibacterial cleanser. And then today at the hospital, I was given these 2% chlorhexidine cloths. And basically I'm showering tonight and then I'm going to wash my body again in these. They also gave me an incentive spirometer and it just helps like reduce your risk for, what's it called? It starts with a P, like a lung disease, pneumonia. <laughs> And then I have cotton swabs that I have to use to clean around my drains. But yeah, my surgery is tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Let me show you guys the before. As of right now, I am, according to measurements, a 36i. Um, I have like a 36 under bust and like a 43 or a 44 around my boobs. This is like the only bra that I can wear that fits. It's from Airy. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for like years. So I'm going to get in the shower. It's surgery day. I cannot believe this. What is going on? On to the other side. I almost forgot this. The final thing I'm doing, I'm just wearing this white t-shirt. I'm gonna draw where my boobs end. I've seen a lot of people do this on Reddit. That way you can like compare after. Okay, that nipple is a lot bigger than actual. Okay, well I really sucked at drawing the nipples. We'll see where I'm at in a few days post-op. Okay, now I'm gone for real. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, January 6th. I had my surgery yesterday. Everything went great. I did not film after my surgery yesterday because I was in, I know it was bad. <laughs> so yesterday I got to the hospital at six, got checked in, got marked up by the doctor. I'm still marked up. You know, just did like all the normal things. And then my surgeon came in and visited with me. My nurses, my anesthesiologist came in. And then around 9.45, I really don't remember. Like it all happened really quickly. My husband and my grandma were in the room with me. The doctor gave me something, like didn't even really give me a warning, but he pushed it into my IV. And he said, you ready to do this? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what is that? And he was like, oh, it's Versid. And if you don't know, Versid is a sedative used um, for like surgery or whatever. And then he gave me Dilaudid, which is a pain medication. Everybody was talking and I that quick was like starting to go out of it. And maybe like a minute later, I remember saying, I really feel it. And that's the last thing I remember. And I, I wasn't even asleep, like I was still awake. And I guess I was talking to the doctor and talking to my grandma and Jacob. I have no memory of anything like it's so weird how that works. Um, but I guess I like was saying things like, I don't like the way this is making me feel. I don't feel good. Like, and of course my grandma and my husband were like, is she okay? Is she okay? And the anesthesiologist said people don't like losing control. And so people will say that once they get those medications because you're quite literally like losing control of your mind and your body. The next thing I remember, I woke up in post-op. Like it was like, I said, I feel this and I woke up in post-op. My surgery was from like 10 to 3.30. It was five and a half hours, they said. I woke up in post-op about 4.15. First thing I asked for, I was like, where's Jacob? Like, can Jacob come back? And she was like, no, like not yet. Not until you're like done in post-op. And I asked for water and she gave me some water. I was going in and out of it still. I woke up with a hospital gown on and then this. My voice sounds really funny because I had the breathing tube in, obviously. I remember I got really, really nauseous in post-op. So they gave me some Zofa 
Fran, um, which I don't think really helped. I didn't realize how weak I would be and how hard it would be to walk. And just yesterday is such a blur. Her and the nurse aide helped me take the gown off and get dressed. They helped me get in the wheelchair and got in the car. I slept the whole way home. And when we got home, I stood up and immediately when I stood up to walk in the house, I was like, I'm gonna vomit. Like, I'm so nauseous. I made it inside the house. And as soon as I like stepped into the kitchen, I just started puking like crazy. Then I got in bed. I woke up once, maybe at like 7 p.m. And I got up and I really wanted to walk. But every time I got up, I couldn't walk. First of all, I had to hold on to somebody because I was still so wobbly. But every time I got up, I would puke. So that was not fun. I puked like three or four times yesterday. Sorry, that was really long. Let me show you everything. This is the dressing. And then I have my drainage tubes. I'm already like significantly you can tell a lot smaller which is just insane but i've been draining these every four hours while i'm awake um i have this ace bandage which isn't even doing anything and then i have like my tape and my gauze and everything underneath okay i'm gonna go i'll update you guys good morning today is sunday january 7th i did not film my day yesterday at all because it was such a horrible day for me i was in so much pain all day um i did my first dressing change doing the dressing change was awful <laughs> And it was pretty scary seeing everything for the first time, but I mean, it all looks great. I was just exhausted. I was trying to get comfortable in bed all day. I'm pretty sure I popped a stitch like right down here. It's still bleeding. <laughs> yeah, it just sucks. But um, I did finally take the braids out. I did end up showering yesterday, which was horrible, but my husband helped me. I just kind of stood there while he literally washed my body. I think the anesthetic was still like wearing off and I was just like not, not doing great. Everything's looking pretty good. I still can't get over how small I look. That's just really crazy to me. But yeah, my doctor did tell me no bra. Um, I am bruised pretty badly um, on the sides and underneath. Yeah, just here to kind of share my experience. I'm hoping whoever watches this, it helps you. But yeah, yesterday was horrible. Hoping today is better. Hi everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 10th, five days post-op. And I just got my drains removed. So much better, so free. Wearing a sports bra, I still have gauze underneath and like surgical pads because my stitches are still leaking kind of. But man, today is already looking up. I haven't filmed the past few days because it's been honestly a really rough couple of days, but I'm feeling a lot better, which is great. My pain is pretty manageable. I've been maxed out on Tylenol. I've been taking like 2,500, 3,000 a day, which is kind of crazy. I'm worried for my liver a little bit. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna take it if I feel pain. I've been trying to stay ahead of it, but I think I'll be okay now that the drains are out because those were like my worst enemy. Like I was fighting demons. But besides that, like I feel pretty good. Um, the sensation I'm having in my breast and my nipples is insane. But since like two days post-op, it feels like pins and needles like all over and I asked my surgeon about it and he said that it's just my nerves reconnecting. That's reassuring to hear because I didn't know if I'd have like any nipple sensation after this but I mean I should considering how I'm feeling right now. Bra is from Amazon. It's like a size large and it fits and my boobs aren't hanging out which is crazy. I've never been able to do that before. The past few days have just been hard with the drains and also like emotionally I just like feel more depressed than like normal. I feel like the past few months like even a year, year and a half, I've been doing really well like mentally and emotionally, but for some reason after that surgery, I just like feel hopeless and so down. And I guess that's not necessarily normal, but it can be like a side effect of anesthesia. So I'm just waiting it out and hoping it gets better. Um, honestly, getting the drains out was like such a huge milestone in my brain. I'm like, I feel on top of the world right now with no drains in, which is amazing. Looking so great so small that's it for now i don't really have much more to say mm, i'll let you know if i think of anything hi guys look how pretty the sky is anyways today is january 14th it's a saturday and i am eight days post-op and i'm feeling a lot better today i would say my first like six days were not great at all even when i got my tubes out that video was so funny because i was thinking about how great i was doing and that night I had the worst mental breakdown I've had since I got my surgery. I genuinely don't think I've ever cried so hard in my whole entire life. I don't even know why because I'm so grateful for my surgery. And again, like I've been wanting it forever, but lots of mixed feelings. The anesthesia makes me feel crazy. It was just really hard, but the past two days, things have finally been going back to normal. Like I went to the movies, I went out to eat. I feel like I'm starting to be myself again, which is really nice. But update about all this. I'm still wearing just like normal front class sports bra and then a bunch of gauze because right here, 
at my t-junction site i have like a small opening i think i'm not really sure it's like black and purple and i texted my surgeon and basically told him like listen it smells really bad it looks grody oh wait no i texted him about the hole where i got my drain out because i thought that was infected because it smelled so bad and it looked really bad and he said it looked fine but then the past two days underneath at my T-junction site, it's been black, purple. It smells like my patients in the ICU that have these horrible wounds. It literally smells the same and it's kind of freaking me out. And yeah, like nurses and doctors are the worst patients. And I'm realizing why now because like every time I see something that I've seen in a patient, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get septic and I'm gonna die or something. But it smells disgusting. It looks pretty gross, but I feel like underneath it all, the incision is closed. So I'm not really sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's an opening or if it's necrosis or if it's just a bunch of slow or slough. I don't know how you say it. it kind of looks like a mix of like slough and eschar. I don't even know if I'm saying either of those words right. But yeah, it's not fun. I don't like it. This tape hasn't even started to peel off. So I don't even know what's going on under there. I'm hoping it's all good. It stresses me out. But I get my tape off on Wednesday. So he'll actually be able to see everything. Mel everything tell me what he thinks if it's infected i haven't even messaged him about this because i feel annoying which is like why do i feel annoying but i don't want to be messaging him every single day for something but it's red it's warm it smells there's drainage i don't know guys i'll live a few more days until i go see him but yeah i just wanted to update you all i know pictures definitely help other people who are going through this like i'm on that subreddit i like scroll it all the time to see if anybody has like similar things um i actually posted a picture of this so i'm not too concerned if i was too concerned i would text my surgeon but somebody was like hey i had something really similar like it just healed up over time and i was like Mwah. like that made me feel so much better and of course it's not medical advice she could be wrong maybe i'm dying i need to go in but like i feel better so that's all that matters what was i even talking about oh pictures yeah they're kind of grody i'm not sure how much i'll share it doesn't really matter like their their boobs it's flesh it's wounds i'm gonna go back inside unless anything crazy happens i probably won't update until wednesday after i go to the doctor because i mean nothing's changing bye hey guys it's sunday january 14th yeah this is kind of the outro i'm also going to add a bunch of before and afters now i just went into my closet and tried on a bunch of clothes that i had tried on pre-surgery just to see how they would fit differently and i'm just going to reiterate how the past like week has been i'm also going to tell you things that i think you definitely need I'm just kind of condense everything that i have been talking about for the past 12 minutes into this short clip Zero days post-op, came home from the hospital, extremely sick, worst day, don't really remember much. Post-op day one, two, three, four, and five were actually horrible. I cried myself to sleep every night. I was just so upset. I quite literally felt really depressed, really unhappy, really regretful. And then days seven, eight, and nine, today is post-op day nine, have been amazing. My pain is pretty much gone. I feel like a lot of the psychological stuff is over i feel really great also you don't really need anything the only three things that i bought and would recommend to people are a pregnancy pillow a mastectomy pillow and the amazon for the loom front clasp bras the pregnancy pillow is great for sleeping my doctor cleared me to sleep on my side sleep however i want right after surgery but i could only sleep on my back for like the first five days and i was finally able to like roll halfway onto my side by day six but i'm still using the pregnancy pillow to like help keep me upright that was an awesome buy the mastectomy pillow was great for car rides and also just like laying on the couch and editing or reading a book and it just kind of protects i especially recommend that if you have animals um because my dogs like to lay their heads on my chest or they'll jump up on me and the mastectomy pillow has been really great in protecting my boobs um and then third the amazon front class bras that's what i've been wearing like religiously i would size up i got sizes 36 38 and 40. i have only been wearing 40 mostly and 38 occasionally i think once i stop wearing gauze i'm gonna size down to the 38s but i would definitely recommend those they're so easy to put on they're really comfortable they're stretchy and they're pretty cheap which is great i think a three pack was like 20 bucks i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful i hope that you know you're not alone i feel like nobody really prepared me for a breast reduction i also had never had surgery before i didn't know what to expect it's hard i just know that it will be worth it and i think it is worth it right now but there were so many nights especially where it was really hard to think about that and remember that it would be worth it so if you feel like that you're not alone sorry my husband called me i don't even remember what i was saying thanks for watching hope you enjoy let me know if you have any questions bye guys